In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and customize a top bar application. So I'm creating a new project and uh, I will select iOS application and then a uh, top application. I'll tap on next and then I'll give my application uh, or my project a name and I'll call it my top bar example. Next. Select where I want to store it. Create a new project. Okay, my project is created and I will switch to my uh, main storyboard and there will be my uh, new uh, top bar controller. So uh, first of all, this top bar controller is perfectly working. If I run this application, uh, it will um, uh, perfectly work. So if I run it now, Okay, my app is up and running and I have first view controller uh, with a default icon here and I can tap on second view controller and it switches to uh, the second view and the icon gets highlighted. So um, the two default view controllers are created and each view controller has a custom a Swift uh, class, the first uh, view controller custom class and the second which we can immediately start using. Okay, but what if we need a third view controller? So let's do that. Let's uh, create a new view controller for this uh, example. So I will open uh, up my right side uh, bar and I will find uh, from the objects library a new view controller and I will drag it, drag it here. Okay, so that will be our third view controller. So now how do I add it to my top bar? And the way to add it is very simple. I'll select the top bar controller and then I hold control button on my keyboard, click, drag and drop it to my view controller here. And then from the menu that I was presented, manual segways and relationship segue, I need to select a view controllers. Okay, and as soon as I select it, my uh, new view controller is added to top bar view controller. So I get first, second and then I get this uh, third one. So I can customize it. I can select the item and then go to top bar item here. And then uh, from the, for example, um, I can select one of the system icons, for example, history, and it changes to history and, and gets a nice icon. Or I can create a custom and then uh, give it uh, my own title, for example, third uh, and hit enter. So now if I, um, zoom it in and run this example again, I will have a top bar with three view controllers. Here we go. I have first, second, and I have a third. But a third view controller doesn't have an icon, uh, which doesn't look uh, any good. So uh, let's go ahead and create a new icon for our uh, third view controller. And I'll stop this application and I will open my uh, left side panel and I'll go to images assets here. So here I have uh, two icons for the first view controller and one icon for the second view controller. So if I select uh, this icon and then right click or click with my um, two fingers and then I can select um, open show in finder it will take me to the folder where the um, uh, where these icons are stored. So the second is stored actually as a PDF document. Uh, so I can um, select this uh, uh, icon. Uh, again, do right mouse click and then open with Photoshop. Okay. Here we go. The file is uh, opened. And now I can customize it and save it as my third icon. So the first thing that I'll do, I will uh, get rid of black background. So I have now a transparent background and I will select this tool here that allows me to uh, select rectangular uh, different shapes. And uh, from the shapes uh, panel here, I will select one. Oh, I'm sorry, here. I will select one. Uh, let's uh, choose, for example, this heart. 
and I will draw it like this. And I will double click uh, to uh, select a different color. Um, let's select black heart. And then I will reposition it a little bit. Uh, reposition it a little bit. And uh, let's make actually it a little bit bigger so that it um, transform, uh, edit, transform scale so that it is of the same size with other icons. Just make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, hit enter. So now I can save this uh, icon as my third and I will save it as, uh, I'll save it on a desktop and I will save it as PDF. So from the format list here, I will look for uh, Photoshop PDF and then I will uh, give it a name third. Okay, so that this is my third icon. Now I'll save it. Okay, uh, save PDF. Uh, yes. And here we go. Um, next, let's switch to our Xcode here and open a Finder to find this third icon. So what I will do, I will drag and drop it to my images assets. Here we go, third icon. So this icon is uh, a little bit different from uh, the second one. Yeah, the second is uh, when we select the second icon, it says universal. And when we select um, first, it's still universal, but it has uh, it, it is asking me for three different sizes. So if I look at my second icon, it says that the scale factors need to be single vector. So uh, this is what I'll do for the third one. I will um, select a scale factor a single vector and now uh, take this icon and drag and put it to this box universal so now I'm almost done I will uh, go to main storyboard and uh, uh, select my third view controller select the icon the item open up right side panel and from the images list for the bar item images list I will select third now here we go I have a little uh, hard uh, which is a lot nicer than uh, no icon at all and let me uh, update the first one let's for example um, change it to um, something top rated to have all, all of them different uh, top rated second and hard and run this application to see how it works Okay, so we have a star, we have second, and we have third. It perfectly works, it gets highlighted, although it's not as big as, for example, the star. So we could have um, made it a little bit bigger uh, to match uh, the size. Okay, uh, next, uh, let's learn how to customize our top bar and uh, change its background color or color uh, and color of its icons. So for that, I will stop uh, my application, open our uh, left side panel and go to app delegate. And uh, before I write any code here, let me increase the font size a little bit. Uh, presentation, here we go. So in app delegate, uh, you want to look for a function that's called application did finish launching with options. So here we will need to add a couple of lines of code. First, um, um, because we are going to customize UI top bar, let's reference it. UI top uh, bar. And then we, we're going to work with its appearance and uh, to um, edit a top bar background color. We want to look for bar tint color. And here we can assign it um, a custom color or one of the predefined colors. For example, if I want to I select a predefined color, I will look for UI color and then uh, black, blue, brown and or any other color. So I will select black for this example. And now I will um, do the uh, same thing. I will go to top bar appearance, but this time I'm, I'm looking for tint color and I will um, choose a different color for tint. Let's make it black and white. 
Uh, okay, so our background color will be black and our foreground color will be white. So let's run this application and see how it works now, how it looks now. Now it's black and white. And I could have chosen different colors. Uh, so uh, it's, it's still our heart custom icon still uh, looks nice. We can also rearrange uh, view controllers in a tab bar. For example, our uh, top rated can be a, th a third or a uh, second. We can put in on the first uh, position and the top rated on the second. So uh, let's uh, stop this application and then uh, go to main storyboard and uh, try uh, rearranging this view controllers a little bit. So if I zoom it in and uh, a look at the order of these icons, I can easily grab one and then drag and drop it, for example, um, here at the second place. And now if I uh, run this application again, their order will change. So when you have more view controllers, when you have, for example, four, you can easily reorder them and uh, to, to meet your needs. So now I have second on the first place and top rated uh, in the middle. And I can put it back. I can grab top rated and um, drag it back to its first place and run it again. And we have it on uh, the first position again and it's uh, still all working. 